Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Arco Arena in Sacramento, California, where tonight the Seattle Supersonics meet the Sacramento Kings, the first meeting of the year between these two ball clubs. Hello again, everybody. Kevin Calabro along with Marcus Johnson here tonight. The last time we were in this building was April 21 when the Sacramento Kings went on a 30 to 1 run in the second half, beat the Supersonics, won the season series three games to two. The first time the Kings had done that to the Sonics, won a season series in nine years. The Kings this year are a revamped ball club now off to a 12 and 4 start. They have won five in a row, including their last four here at home and Saturday night against the Orlando Magic. That was their last game. They've had, because of a quirk in the schedule, five days off. Meantime, the Sonics have had one game in that period of time, and that was a huge win at home over the Toronto Raptors on Tuesday. In the Kings, the Sonics see an opponent with all the attributes that have given the Sonics trouble this year. The Kings have quickness, and they have quick leapers on that front line. When we come back, Marcus Johnson will break down the personnel as the Sonics meet the Kings tonight here on the Sonics Broadcasting Network. Pick it up. Of a one bounce like a shortstop. Turnover a piece. Kings basketball. Richmond drives baseline. Up fakes and loops a reverse runner with the left hand up and over. Sean Kemp in the sleeve on the left half. He feeds to Hawkins. Curls off the pick. Double pumps and loops a little runner over Brian Grant. Nice play by Hawkins who pumped it to get it away from the defense and then flared it up there. 4-2. Back comes Richmond for three. And bang. Down it goes. Richmond wheeling and firing. And not a good sign for the Sonics early. Mitch Richmond looks to be very aggressive offensively early on. 5-4 ball game. Kemp on the low block. In he comes. Scoops by Grant. Shovels it up and in. A kiss off the glass for the rain man. He read that beautifully. Sit. Take a look at Sean Kemp down in the low box. Watch the little scoop. Ryan Grant's going to extend the arm. Sean just scoops the ball under the arm. Nice touch off the glass. Kings ball. Entry pass from Polonese to Williams. Broken up by a shrimp lead pass to Gary up to Kemp and denied and for Grant on the block once the ball they feed to Richmond the wraparound pass intercepted by Shrimp saved to Gary Payton here comes Gary out of backcourt he's got Burkowski and Hawkins with him he'll swing it out to Brick he'll challenge him. he's trying to dribble in lost a handle on the ball in last time first quarter Edney with the dribble over to Richmond draws a crowd on the lane out to Edney drops in deep Kemp steps up and rejects rebukes rebukes denies and generally sends it into orbit <laughs> I mean he spanked it T minus nine counting eight seven six five four blast off John Kip volleyballs it out of bounds should have been goaltending Kings back in bounds. Richmond sets up outside the flick rattles in and out rain man to lead at 8-5 on a charging violation Gary trying to set the screen for the rain man buckles down on Ty Sedney the foul call on Gary and he's going to get a technical foul as well yeah, and actually it was Gary being a little bit too physical against Tyus inside shot him an elbow trying to get the respect of the rookie early on the referee right on top of the play George Carl didn't agree it was a lot of physical contact going on inside so to the line comes Mitch Richmond to shoot the technical foul shot. He's an 86 percenter. It's nearly a foregone conclusion. Slid across ah. Edney and deep. He'll square. Fire over Gary. Missed the shot. Rebound to the Rain Man. Looks for the outlet pass. Now will dribble across midcourt. The Rain Man scissors his legs. Hesitates. Trying to take it inside camp. Reverses outside. Here's Hawkins running. Two-hander up and in over Brian Grant. The Hawks swooping into the lane. In low. They give it to Gary in the post-up. Turns. Fades. Fires. And rimmed it off the back rim. Gathered in by Kemp. He muscles by Grant. Lays it up and in. Sean Kemp just took it away from Brian Grant and laid it in. Yeah, that was in the Sacramento papers. They're saying he didn't think that the talent of the Sacramento was uh, reflective of their, of their record. It's a great hustle play by Sean Kemp. It's batted out, grabbed by Edney, across midcourt he comes. Man, is he quick. Skips it to the trailing Richmond, shakes right, cuts left, off balance. Scooper in the lane, draws iron, but rolls in. Got the foul, will go to the line. Gets the ball in the open court, push, pushes it up, gets, gets it to Mitch Richmond now. He catches the Sonics, not in good defensive position as a team, able to, to kind of thread the seams, get down the middle, get down the gut of the defense. Nice little underhand scoop and the foul. But they want to push it up the court to Sacramento Kings with Ty Zedney every time they can. Richmond's free throw up and in. Trip down the floor. 16-14. Kings take the lead. Let's see what they do here. Overplay by Richmond on Hawkins. Deflects it in the backcourt. Percy going after the ball. Spins and inadvertently kicks it off the heel and out of bounds. It will be Sacramento King basketball. They will throw a lot of traps at you. And they jump the Sonics that time for a turnover. And the fans are so into the game early on. You can tell that there's not a whole lot to do up here in Sacramento. Kings will take it. Here's Williams in the corner. Jab steps right, cuts left. Gary reaches in, hacks the ball free, has the pick. Gary with his second steal down the left side. 18-14. Kings, Hawkins with the ball on the point. 
pressured, gives to Gary Curls, eludes three defenders, steps to the glass and lays it in over Brian Grant. He looks it out to Edney. Edney shakes right, cuts left, stumbles into the lane to Grant, powers it up. Urban with the block shot. Oh, a refusal, a flat rebuke. I think they thought Gary Payton was going to rise on the shot. Ties in and penetrates. Brian Grant going to go for the dunk. And here's Irvin with the no, 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 oh. no, no, Mr. Grant. Oh, 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 that was nice. <laughs> 30, a.k.a. the animal. Outside and shrimp, left-hand side of the key. Skips it mid-block, right side to Gary. Back to Dellum beyond the three-point arc. Sends it low to Gary. Fires it across. Sam for the three. Got it. Great ball movement by the Sonics. I, I don't think you could ask for better spacing or a better scheme. And sensational patience by Shrimp and Payton. Nope. Elemental basketball. Ball, or I should say Sonic Ball with Shrimp holding it. Looking for Gary in the post up. He backs Whirls with the left hand. He steps it off the window and in. And again, it's a Shrimp Payton matchup in low. And on the inbounds pass, Irvin Johnson making some trouble for Tyus Edney. And the Kings cough it up and out of bounds. We mentioned 5'10, 152, a diminutive guard. Here's Gary. Spins left side, takes it in with a left hand. Gallup and lays it in off the window with the left mitt. It's the second time tonight he's gone to the left hand. Ask you out high, left hand side of the arc with the rock over to Hawk. Gets it, wheels it in low to Sean. Backs on Coswell, hooks him in the lane, fall away. Right hander up and in for the rain man. What a thing of beauty as he set the legs of Kimbo, leaned back and flicked it home with the right hand. Come holding for it, cut over the power, and she'd be done. Get Mitch to do the Mark Albert with authority. <laughs> Peyton the lob pass to the rain man with two hands. He brought it down hard. He's got eight points. I think there's the lob play. Shine going to set the screen, the quick roll to the basket. Gary gives it up. Shine gets it with two hands, then cocks it, then dunks it. <laughs> oh, lands with a look. <laughs> the definite look. But the Kings, the weak side defense, slow rotating down to Shine Kemp. You've got to put a body on him before he can blast off like that, or else there's no stopping him. He'll skip it out on the wing to the Hawk. Percy back on top to the Rain Man, racing down the right side. Gallup by Coswell, kick out to the Gary Payton for the three. Gary Payton in the corner for the three. He has nine points. The Sonics looking to bury the Kings up by 17 points. Working that horse down the left sideline. Curls off the screen. Popping out. Cap. Here he comes. He'll pack it with a sledgehammer jam. Oh, Marshall Otis just got out of the way. He was looking at severe storm damage. The <laughs> rain man. Make it happen on the penetration. Gary Payton coming off the pick and roll from Sean Kimmon. No one there from the weak side. Sharon is awful slow coming over. And when that happens, that happens, you get dunked on. Oh, man, that's heavy, heavy weather there. Jump in the cup. That's called jumping in the cup. At the break on the Sonics Broadcasting Network. Side hands to Marshall Lomas. Gallops down the left side, turns the corner on Urban, swings it across the baseline to Grant. Out to Richmond, drives in, slings between defenders. The rain man is there as the last line of defense. And goaltending is called on Kemp as he clearly got the ball at his apex. Richmond with 11 points. Get a nice hustle play by Sean Kemp trying to get the block shot. Rich Mitch with the scoop, and it was just starting to come down. That's a good goal. Ford with Snow. Edney high left, outside to Polonese, top of the key. To Richmond, three on the shot clock, Benny. Stands up Richmond, forces him into a double pump shot. He adjusts in midair and scores. Vinny did everything he could. He threw the whole arsenal at him. And Mitch, the only thing he gave of the year last year to lose the playoff spot, Denver won it. Richmond raises on tiptoes. The Sonic Mitch wanted a walk. Richmond then drives to the baseline, up fakes, drew the foul, and scores. Mitch Richmond with 15 points. The question is whether or not he did become airborne. It looked like he came awful close as he went from a pump fake the jump shot, drove the baseline. And it's one of the things that Mitch Richmond does extremely well. And he has now become the all-time leading scorer in Sacramento Kings history. And he will throw the basketball over to the bench and that will go to the trophy case. The new career scoring leader in the Sacramento era here in the capital city of California. And now Mitch tells the crowd to shut up. I got to shoot these free throws. I got work to do here. Richmond, an 86% free throw shooter, strokes at home, and he has 16 points. All right. They're all by himself, and then Hersey's hot tonight. And he hands off to Richmond, drives into the lane, off balance, banker up and in from Mitch Richmond. He was sent off balance. He managed to adjust and laid it in to the midcourt and ending. Tyus Edney, left hand side of the lane, skips, stops, finds Richmond out of the corner, makes a three, bam. Nothing but net. Richmond with 21. That was clean. 360 spin dunk. 10 point lead. Shrimp takes the hand off. Gary gathers it, whirls into the lane like a Texas tornado and finishes with a left hand. G Man getting busy. 
with has got no choice but to bring it up. Gary from behind bats it away at midcourt. He's got shrimp right. Hawkins left and Sean Trailing drops it between the legs to Kemp on the dribble. Blows by Grant. Fall away baseliner. Forced it to midcourt. Skips it across. Richmond handles it. Right hand side of the arc beyond the three point ring. Settles in. Now dribbles. Draws. Kicks. Smith denied by Johnson. A late whistle and a call. And the foul is on Urban Johnson. The official was not going to blow that whistle. He blew it off the late. Urban Johnson with a nice. Nice snuff on the plate, just all basketball. He didn't even get him on the follow-through. I, I thought he might have hit his arms on the follow-through, but just hit the basketball. Smith grabs the rim, and it just looked like a lot of contact, but it wasn't. To the cross, the head of the key, then double team to Benny. Drives in, skip pass, Gary cutting in. Woo! Missed the reverse, grabbed the rebound in traffic, and lays it in. What a tremendous and beautifully gifted athletic play by Gary Payton. Yes. The air by Hawk, grabbed by Gary. George wants him to run. Peyton up the floor to Hawk. Stops, pops. He's in a zone. The Hawk. He's got 34. He won't be denied. You got to feed the Hawk. You got to feed the Hawk. That's why George wanted Gary to run. He saw Hersey wide open, spotted up at the three point line down at the offensive end. Balance trying to go for the left handed shot. Well, the Sonics did their homework on the Kings. They exploited the weaknesses of the Kings. Richmond the three. And Richmond with 26 points. There are times when the game comes down to a single moment when one pass, one whistle, one play will make the difference. When that time comes, it's your job to weigh the risk and reward of a single decision. The pressure, possibility of the moment, that's why you do what you do. That's why you coach. And when it's over, it's over. Until tomorrow. Tonight's key performer was undoubtedly Hersey Hawkins. The Hawk had 34 points tonight, 12 of 17 from the field, and his seven threes tie an Arco Arena opponent record for threes in a ball game. He was outstanding tonight, Marcus. Yes, and the Sonics learned the value of feeding the Hawk right there. <laughs> he did a good job getting open also, just did a good job doing everything. Defense, uh, taking the ball to the basket. Fantastic all-around game for Hersey Hawkins. And that is tonight's key performer brought to you by Key Bank, America's first choice. Message game tonight? Early on, I mean, it doesn't mean a whole lot because there's so much of the season to play, but it kind of knocks the Kings off their perch just a little bit. Speaking of Hawk, no, no pun intended. <laughs> just tie that all in together like that. Five days rest might have hurt the Kings. As for the Sonics, they had a lot of time to work in practice. You can see it was evident. They had a real plan tonight, stayed with it. The offense was very good. The defense was uh, very assertive. We'll see what they bring tomorrow at the Key Arena. We'll have it for you on cable, pay-per-view basis, and, of course, on radio. Marcus Johnson and I will be there tomorrow night. The tip at 7 o'clock as the Sonics meet the Portland Trailblazers. Final tonight in Sacramento. Good game. Sonics over the Kings, 120-103. So long from Sacramento on the Sonics Broadcasting Network.